Hey, it's Duke Lally from Uke Mullum here. Thanks for stopping by. You've landed on a Uke-torial for What a Wonderful World, made famous by Louis Armstrong. There's a whole bunch of chords we're going to learn and there's a lovely little picking pattern. Let's get straight into it, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I see trees of green, red roses too, I see them bloom for me and you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue, clouds of white, the bright blessed day, the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, what a wonderful The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of the people passing by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I hear babies cry I watch them grow They'll learn much more Than I'll ever know And I think to myself What a wonderful world Yes, I think to myself What a wonderful world Please thank my patrons for supporting me to make these videos weekly. If you too would like to become a patron, head on over to patreon.com forward stroke ukemullum and you can pick up the song sheet for this lesson there. If you can't become a patron, I absolutely understand. Do me a favor and please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, leave me a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do that and click the notification bell so you never miss a tutorial. The picking pattern for this song is in 6-8, which is one of the best picking patterns for us to play because it's a really simple thumb, one, two, three, two, one. Let's play an F chord. Thumb, one, two, three, two, one. I'll count the beats for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. While I'm here, uh, some people think you should not use your pinky to stabilize your picking hand structure and play like this. I don't know what's better. All I know is that I feel more comfortable using my pinky. So, you know, it's up to you. Apparently, it's a bad habit. Okay, so chords. We have an F. And this is a B flat 6. So I'm using my first finger to cover the bottom two strings. So let's just practice that.
Now, if you look at my finger, how that is actually moving, that's on the F and that is on the B flat six. So Stewie Fuchs calls it the hinge bar. Let me just move up here. You might be able to see it better. Okay, so there's F and there's B flat. So you need to work on that action, getting your finger to pinch the hinge bar. Once you've mastered that, you will never complain about playing a B flat again. Moving on, A minor. No problem there. G minor seven, which you might notice, is the same as B flat six. Now, why would you do that? It is because the bass note for this chord needs to be B flat. And when we're here in this part of the song, it needs to be a G. So there's only four strings on a ukulele. A lot of the chord shapes share different names, depending on where you are in the song, what key you're in, the chord that precedes and follows it. It's a big miasma of stuff going on there, but just trust me. Even though it's the same shape, they have different names. It's for the bass player. Okay, C sharp. Uh, so if you take a C chord and move it up one and then bar, that might be a bit, a bit too much of a stretch. It is for me, so I'm gonna use my pinky. And then we've got this lovely little turnaround on the What a wonderful world An F add 5 The cleanest version of that chord that I can do so I'm not blocking any of them which is very important when you're picking uh, you hear every tiny little sound when you're playing a song this delicate. Like that, for example. So yes, finger one comes over to string three. Let's get nice and close so you can see what I'm doing. Practice that a few times. Sounds like ABBA. So the whole turnaround at the end of the first verse goes like this. F, F plus, five, F augmented, it's all the same. The easy B flat, B flat major seven, to the C seven. So all together, Next verse, same as the first. At the end of the second verse, we have G minor seven. What a wonderful. You finish with staying on the F for two bars. B flat to F. Okay. And then you're into the, the B section, I guess you'd call it, or the C section even. It's a C section. The middle bit. The colours of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky. C7 to F, also on the faces and the people passing by. Friends shaking hands, that's easy. D minor to C. Yeah, here we go. They're really playing to the uh, F sharp diminished seven. So how do we negotiate that? Okay, this is my lead finger. It's going there. Second finger is going on the second fret of the second string. Third finger is moving up to the third fret of the third string. And pinky is on the third fret of the first string. So that change will need some attention. Probably some smarty is gonna do something like this. And that's fine. 
uh, whenever I run it into a tricky change like that, I sit and practice it so it becomes second nature. I love you, I hear babies cry, I watch them grow, they'll learn much more I'll ever know, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Okay, and now we have this lovely change. I play the C minor 6 by barring the 2nd fret and using my 3rd finger to cover the bottom 3 strings. So it's like that. So the whole thing's pressing down equally. Making sure that they're all sounding correctly. And then I'm doing a D7 like so. What I like to call the Hawaiian D7. And you're at the end of the song. Except for this chord, which is an F. How do we know it's an F? Because this is a C. Move it up one. Bar, C sharp, D, D sharp or E flat, E, F. What a wonderful world. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. There's a swirl in the sun And a swirl in the sky There's a smile on the face Of everybody passing by